on the field and off. Two words, cash back. Two more words, you're welcome. Remember that jar in your dresser where you would throw your loose change at the end of the day? Then occasionally, you take the jar to the bank to have it counted and enjoy a bit of a surprise to find there is more in there than you thought. That's Square One Banking, the account with a virtual money jar, and it's offered exclusively by Legacy Bank. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maple's Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Two words, cash back. Two more words, you're welcome. Remember that jar in your dresser where you would throw your loose change at the end of the day? Then occasionally, you take the jar to the bank to have it counted and enjoy a bit of a surprise to find there is more in there than you thought. That's Square One Banking, the account with a virtual money jar, and it's offered exclusively by Legacy Bank. One, 
afternoon. I want to welcome you guys here as we jump into week seven as the Comets go on the road uh, this evening. Going to be playing at Crescent. So, got the first of, well, I guess the rest of the season, we got four big district games as it's district play from here on out. So, um, really got these two, this one and Minko, circled on the calendar. So, I'm joined here by Coach Potter, head football coach of the Comets. And, uh, you know, we've been talking about Crescent. It's one of those teams that we've talked about the last two or three weeks. It's a game that you and your players have been certainly looking forward to. Um, just kind of watching them, what do you think as far as what traits, like size, physicality, what traits stick out that you feel like you've really had to prepare for in getting your team ready for this matchup this <laughs> evening? All the above. Yeah, but they're they're big, uh, physical team, as Crescent usually is. Uh, their kids are tough. They're well coached. They play hard. Uh, but then they've also got really good skill players on the outside and at quarterback, number seven. Uh, feel like he's been there forever, you know, and he's he's a heck of a player. Number eight, heck of a player. Uh, they've, they've just got good kids at every level. Uh, you know, I know Coach Fisher does a great job, and one of his, his sons is one of their linemen, and he's a heck of a player too. So, uh, just you know, got a lot of – a lot of talent on that team, and they're big, and, and they run well, and, and, you know, they also do a good job. They run a lot of trick plays mm -hmm. and, and different formations, and they switch that up weekly. So, you know, even when, whatever you try to show your kids, you may see something completely well, different, yeah. you know. So yeah. you just kind of have to, you know, try to help them be ready to for whatever they're going to see, you know. Mm -hmm. And so they do a great job, and they're, they're having a great season. And so, you know, we're looking forward to the challenge. But, no, it's a, it's a big challenge for us going in, going over there tonight. Yeah, and I tell you, that was one thing I remember from last year's game is just how big. And yes. we, you know, last year we had a bunch of seniors that were huge, and yes. so there wasn't very many teams that physically could match up with us, and Crescent was one of the few that had at least the size yeah, absolutely. That, that our boys had up front. So Yeah, they're big. You know, going into this week, uh, as far as game planning, getting things ready, what do you feel like our boys need to do tonight to give Hinton a chance to go on the road and get that big win? You know, we we got to execute a lot lot better than what we did uh, last week. We you know just the little things, little details. You know, we were we were without Jacob Bonniewell last week, and yeah. you know you could kind of see it up front. We just weren't on the offensive line. We just weren't as, as confident in what we were supposed to do. And uh, you know, Jacob's that kind of that glue guy in the middle that makes the calls and, and kind of keeps kind of directs traffic for us. And, and we struggle a little bit there. Um, you know, it just like I said, just kind of shook our confidence. So we weren't very assignment sound last week. And you, you can't blow assignments against Crescent. Yeah. You do that, you're going to get blown out of the game. Yeah. So, you know, we got to be assignment sound in, in, in all phases of the game. You know, special teams, we need to make some things happen here and there. And, and we got to be sound against, like I said, their trick plays and, the things they do, we know, you know, there's going to be times where they're going to have success. They're a good football team. They're ranked in the top 10 for a reason. So, you know, kind of weathering the storm when things go bad and keeping our head, keeping our composure, you know, it will be a big, big factor for us. And I said, we've got to be able to execute, take care of the ball and, and just do the things that, that give us a chance to win, you know, protect the football, run the football, also be able to stop the run. And, you know, you do that, you give yourself a chance. And, and then, like I said, you got to have some breaks here and there. You know, you got to have you got to have that big play defensively to get that turnover or a big yeah. play on special teams. Or, you know, just one of those things has to break your way when you're playing against good teams. So, you know, that's that's what we're looking for is, is just try to make things happen and be aggressive. Yeah. Well, i tell you what, it's put up or shut up time this time of year. I yeah, uh, love this time of year. Of course, you got playoff baseball going on. But I tell sure. you, the fun begins on Friday night with high school football and Four games left for those of you that are keeping track and all four district games. Yeah. Uh, this is where everything is decided right here. So and it all starts tonight against Crescent. So Absolutely. Coach Potter, I want to thank you for again joining us here. So Appreciate blessed it. and fortunate to have this pregame show and you know, kind of get some wisdom from you and <laughs> we'll uh, run some things here and yeah. uh, we will get this game started. You guys until next time. <laughs>
November 14th. Those who live in the Hinton School District will have the opportunity to vote on our upcoming bond issue. Absentee ballots and early voting are permitted. Once again, if you live in the Hinton School District, you have the opportunity to vote on this upcoming bond issue. It is a 0% tax increase and will provide seven new classrooms for our Hinton School District. If you have any further questions, please contact Superintendent Marcy Derryberry or members of the Hinton Bond Committee. All right. All right, I want to welcome you guys here as uh, on the road here it's Crescent quite the way to pop this game off. Uh, coming out of the pregame show here, so the Hinton Comets uh, lose the toss and Crescent elects to receive the ball here as they'll get the first look on offense here. Return by number eight. He's going to take this one out, cuts up left, makes one man miss, and diving down at the 25 yard line. Yeah, and that's number eight, Tanner Rice. Um, uh, Nathan, you know, we're, we need to look to see his, his number called a lot tonight by the Crescent Tigers. Um, their quarterback, Cade Varner, athletic, dude, just athletic. Can do everything, throw, run. Um, you get another guy like C.J. Wilson coming off the edge every now and then, a, a smaller running back that can just really get to that top speed fast. So we've got to be ready to run these guys down, uh, covering the flats, and not let them get over our heads right here tonight. All right, first and ten. Here's shotgun set. One receiver, or excuse me, one back. Set the block. And still kind of roll out on a wheel route there. Throws to the flats, as you said. Brought down by Clifton Craighead. It's a really good tackle by Clifton Craighead. Um, if you looked early, we kind of gave a man look right there, and then we, we dropped back into a little zone. I think you're going to see the Comets do a lot of that tonight, and they're going to look to keep the ball in front and go make tackles. Yeah, just like that. They're kind of... First 10 plays, as you said, are oftentimes usually scripted. You know what you're doing out the gate here is not running up tempo here, kind of chewing a little bit of clock. And, again, size, physicality going to matter here. They're going to try to wear the Comets down. So here we go, second down. It's a two-by-one. Shotgun set, snap, hands off. Up the middle, oh, but the ball's, ball's out. On the on the, <laughs> and on the there grass. you go, Colton. Colton Helms, Johnny on the spot right there. Sorry, I said ball on the floor. I've been kind of no. slowly getting back into basketball. That's a huge turnover for the Comets. You know, they uh, they lose the toss, and Crescent uh, decides to receive, thinking, hey, we're going to go out here and score first. You get a turnover right there. Really, you now are in great field position, and at halftime, you're still going to get the ball. And how about that? You know, Coach Potter will tell you when in the turnover battle is – Key number one, time of possession, turnover battle, his two big things. Great way to start there. One play and then yeah. second down, he fumbles. So Comets, first look at the offense here. Graydon Devaney, the captain, the leader here. Under center. So they got him stacked against the line of scrimmage. Kind of that wing on the left side as they'll kick it back out to back here. Rodman. And we may get a timeout here on the first play. Timeout hitting. It's our first of the game. Yep. I believe we only had 10 on the field. Um, at least that's kind of what it was looking like. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, something wasn't right there. Coach Potter was not uh, feeling that situation right there. Called a timeout. And in the first half, it's okay to burn a timeout like that. You know what I'm saying? You just got a big turnover, and you don't want to uh, uh, come back on the offensive end and, and not have something go right. You know what I'm saying? Like you said earlier, those plays are scripted, and uh, you're looking to have a good, solid start to this half. Yeah, so here we go. First look at the offense here. Like you said, you want to take a timeout there. You don't want to don't want to start out there getting a penalty and put yourself five yards backward to start this drive. And a lot of penalties last week. I think ten uh, holding calls total between both teams and a bunch mm -hmm. of all start penalties there. So a little sloppy play last Friday, and both teams know it. And so now they're looking to shake it off here. Shotgun set. They got that wing on the left side here. Is a nice little uh, all reverse pass. Intended, and he's going to put a drop in there for a dime inside nice. the five. That was a – oh, man, I think it dropped. Oh, it looked like it hit him right in the numbers. Yep. Either way, honestly, a really great ball by Clifton Craighead. You know, we went uh, – Is that a reverse? Wide, wide receiver reverse pass right there. And, and uh, a big part of that was we were able to have a little bit of protection. He gets a good ball off right there, but just – I don't know if there was maybe some, some traffic there with the hands uh, from the DB – but knocking that ball down, and um, we're now looking at second and 10 from the 36. Yeah, pistol formation. First time we've seen them oh, uh, move to the shotgun now. Snap. Is he going to do a little QB lead oh. there and gets caught up as number 62? Man, 62 kind of came out of nowhere. That is Ryland Fisher. That's the brother of Stone Fisher. 
Um, and those are two big linemen that the uh, Crescent Tigers had. I was watching them walk out earlier. They just got some big guys. You know, Coach Potter talked about in the pregame just about how big these guys are and how good of a football team they are. And uh, that's why you got to capitalize on these situations. And that's normally that QB lead. That's a play that they, you know, he was getting ready to follow his block. And yeah, you're not going to yeah. see teams do that to you often there. It's, they got beat inside a lot last week by number 55. So the interior line here, a place to watch for sure. As he'll snap this one, looks left. He's going to hang on to it, has to evade. And good job containing there by number 80 to bring him down. Yeah. I tell you, Graydon. Looks like there's a flag on the play here. Um, we'll see what we have here. Does that flag come at the end of the play? It's on the far side. So it'll be interesting to see the call. Sideline yeah. warning on the Comets. Wow. I'm not really sure why. I, I mean, we were just rotating in and out right there. Um, but, you know, the clock's running. Just a warning, nothing bad right there. Um, you're going to see a punt by Deuce right here. Like I was, I was going to tell you earlier, Graydon was uh, back there and just nobody got open right there. It's a situation where they had too, too good of coverage. Yeah, so a good chance to pin him deep here. Snap is clean. Kick looks good. We'll see what kind of bounce it takes. It's going to roll into the end zone. They try to save oh, it. Rodman man, close. That's really close. Almost had him pinned right there at the one-yard line. Uh, I tell you, good job by Deuce to get that punt off right there. There was a lot of pressure up front. was able to get that punt off. Let's see what the comments can do here as far as defensively containing the Tigers this possession. Yeah, so I tell you what, quick change of hands here. Already both teams yeah. starting their second possession here. Crescent offensively is 938 here in the first. Uh, it feels like this game is, is just absolutely flying, which could allude a little bit to last week's game being a three-and-a-half-hour yes. <laughs> slugfest. Yes, absolute slugfest, man. Um really kind of a high scoring bout last week i don't know if we'll get that kind of same high scoring uh high octane this week we'll just we'll just have to see shotgun set three by one trips left snap snap and to the running back hand up there yeah he oh, balls out. Balls out. Balls out. that's two fumbles on two straight runs and uh we'll take a 50 50 on that every day yep. of the week you know what i'm saying yep <laughs> Um, what number was that on the that was carrying that? Was that number 80 right there? Yes. That was number 80, Chisholm Watson. And uh, he's a tight end DB. Looks like he's going to play more of a halfback situation. Um, be looking for that guy. That's a big guy, man. Yeah, let's go back to the same formation here. It's not really a trips left here. Kind of that slot move. And here he goes. He's looking right. Wants to let it go. Has space downfield, but throws a little bit behind him. Wow. And secures the catch coming back to the ball. That is an unbelievable catch by C.J. Uh, that was C.J. Wilson on that catch. And I'll tell you what, Damian, uh, Damian Gomez had pretty good coverage right there. He just almost kind of got to get his head turned right there and, and try and get a hand on that ball. The ball was a little bit underthrown, which allowed Damian to get there. But um, just an amazing catch by CJ. Yeah, moving a little quicker. Empty set here. They look off to the back to the sideline here. His clock still rolling. Eight forty here in the first. Is that Very, five wide? Yeah, interesting formation. Yeah, I just call it empty. Look like a little early movement there on that screen as they'll get it off to number eight. Cuts back inside. Has pretty good blocks set up and down at the forty. Yeah. Combs got to do a better job of uh, almost playing that like a sweep. You understand what I'm saying? When they sweep that to the left side, they got to do a better job of getting penetration early from the DBs and the linebackers in that situation. It was Tanner Rice on that catch. That's one of their playmakers you got to watch out for. That's yeah, really a good mix of different things so far. Yeah. You know, just a kind of a diverse offense, doing a lot yeah. of force out of the shotgun. but They'll you, load up sometimes too, though, man, and kind of go heavy also. Yeah, so two by two set here. Shotgun still out of the gun. Look for their two slot guys right here. Look how big their back is with them there, too. I know, man. He's a big guy. Block gets that one out there quickly. Cut back inside. and Oh, ball on the ground oh. again, man. And I know fans are going to complain about a horse collar there. but No, that's just a good clean. tackle up top, honestly. Yep. Uh, he didn't grab any collar. He stayed on the pads. That's really a, a pretty decent tackle. I'd like to see us kind of try and jump that route a little bit, though, you know. I mean, he kind of floated that pass. It's a good pass. Don't get me wrong, but he floated that a little bit out there to uh, Boston Cox. And uh, I'd like to see, you know, Clifton Craighead or, or Trevor Rodman, some of our, our uh, safeties, come and, come and jump that route and go get one. All right, so here we go. Comments need to look First for a turnover 10. right here. 
Yep. Under center this time. Under center power eye. eye. Yeah, kind of a power eye here. It's hand off up the left side. Cuts back outside. Makes one man miss and two inside the 25 down man. at the 20. Tell you, that's pretty good blocking by the Crescent receivers right there. Craighead made a good dive at that uh, tackle right there. They just, uh, 23 CJ was able to, uh, that's CJ Wilson was able to break a couple tackles, like you said. Comets need to stop big and in a hurry right here. Maybe a turnover we're looking for right here, things of that sort. Yeah, so again, thankful that Crescent gave us his press box. They're just trying to work around this pillar in the window here as he'll Quarterback keeper. take it off here. Has a block downfield, cuts inside, straight up the middle. Wheels, touchdown, Tigers. That was a designed quarterback draw by the Tigers right there. Um, you know, those are so tough, especially when you've, just, you've had a couple of deep passes not go your way. Whenever they go quarterback draw, you're, you're into your D line and have to find a way to kind of stay home and contain that guy and make him go outside. And then your DB's got to come and make tackles. That's all there is to it. I tell you what, just like that, pretty quick strike that time. Second time didn't waste any time on the clock there. No turnover, although yeah. Comet sure did try to force that one out. So point after, it's up and... Looks good. Okay, stop for a second. That might be wide left, yeah. but and that was Cade Varner, the quarterback, uh, on the extra point. So not very often you see a guy get a touchdown and an extra point back to back. All right. So Coach Phillips, you know, again, second time through here for the offense. We get the ball here in just a moment. What are your thoughts so far? Um, offensively, we've got to find a way to get positive yards. Uh, defensively, we've just got to contain, man, and you've got to. You've got to try and keep those guys in front and and take advantage of those plays. Like uh, when number 80, uh, Chisholm Watson fumbled that ball earlier. You know, you just you got to hope and pray that you can continue to create fumbles like that and 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 get on top of them and and get the ball back in your possession. And on offense, you've got to you've got to get first downs. You've got to produce first downs. Don't get in that second long, third and long situation. That's not where the comments want to be. You know, they want to be in that. Second five to third and two. Those are that's that's comet football, and that's what we've got to get back to this this next possession. All right, so here we go. Of course, Gomez back to receive the kick. As it uh, changes up a little bit of things, you know, kind of bounce some injuries here. And, uh, comets, you know, playing with a lot of freshmen here, not super deep this year, and uh, so things changing just a little bit here following last week's game. So. Kick is up. That it's going to be is. way out of bounds. Yeah, left side there. So I'll get my head out of the way of the camera. I think he was trying to kick a pooch right there and kick it high. Yeah. And he ended up kicking it high and deep and long. Yeah. And out of bounds. Of course, the comments will take the free yardage off the penalty every time. It always gives them a good spot here to start. And really, two drives, pretty good field position in both. And uh, we'll see if they can make do with this one this time. Absolutely. I'm anxious to see if we can come out here and produce a big drive right here, you know, seven, eight, nine play Comet drive and uh, get ourselves in the end zone and even this game back out and take some time off the clock. And I, I know it sounds crazy. I come back to it again, but, like, us getting the ball after halftime is is big right here. How much time do we have left? 6.50 in the first. 6.50 in the first. Thanks. Kind of rolling right along, man. All right, second drive. We'll try this one again. It's a shotgun set here. No backs with him, one in motion there. Rodman, he'll hand it off here. It's kind of a end around, kind of, uh, oh, man, does a little hobble there and brought out at the 45-yard line. I tell you, uh, Deuce Tripp got out there and got a good block on number 23, C.J. Wilson, because he came off of the off of his receiver on this side and was, was ready for the play. He was ready to stick uh, Trevor, but Deuce got out there and got a big block, and Clifton got a big block, and that's what you know it allows you to get to that second and five, second and six area. And um, you know, as I said earlier, those are the kind of yardage situations we want to be in. Gomez in motion, snap, you know, kind of fake it there, run out wide. But I tell you what, there they are again, blowing it up in the backfield. Tiger ball, Tigers all over this one. Essentially the same play, different setup, going the opposite direction, and. Uh, you know, I don't know if we have a read set up for that or if it's just a, you know, it's a direct call, but um, the Tigers were ready for it that time. We missed, I think we missed a couple blocks in the middle. And when you run those plays that take a little bit of time, whether it's a handoff fake or, 
you know, a play action. You've got to have that extra second, second and a half to get that play off. And I tell you, they've been living in the backfield here. Kind of worrisome for the Comets. We'll see what they do here is third down quickly. Here, snap, rolls out left. He's going to keep it himself. No blocks downfield, though, and brought down to the no-gainer on third down and long. I tell you, that's that's disappointing for the Comets. You know, they get that nice little first down run from Trevor, and then you get a tackle for loss and then a sack. And it's just it's it's draining. You know, you think you got some little momentum going with that first run. Um, so look for the Comets to pin the, pin the Tigers deep again right here with a uh, deuce trip punt. And number 22. I think number 20, no, excuse me, number 23 back to receive yep. here. That snaps a little bit low. He's going to get it. This kind of a high sailing kick. I tell you, this will work out pretty pretty well for the Comets, so I'm not going to lie. You're able to flip the field, make him try and go 65 yards. Not the best punt by Deuce, but it got it up in the air. And, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm a little bit worried about C.J. Wilson returning punts against our Comets tonight. Yeah, and again, the Comets, they really need a defensive stop here. It's, you know, you're only down seven points, but, you know, you're playing on the road here. It's our homecoming night. You think yep. can turn ugly really quick. Uh, need a strong defensive stand. This is the drive to do it. We need our big guys up front to blast through the line one time when they drop back to pass and make a, get a tackle for a loss or a sack on uh, Mr. Varner because he's had way too much time to kind of pick apart our, our defensive backs. They go empty set again, like a four-by-one, eight motion. They'll motion Watch him out. Watch the screen to him yep. or the wheel route. Yep, good on, setup good there. there. Turn down field. Cuts back inside. Good. I hate to tell you what, that's a good open field tackle by uh, Colton Helms. Yeah, pretty good set there. I thought that was a nifty play, too. You know, you had two setups there, and of course, really well designed there. And uh, second down and five. It's a shotgun set. Interesting formation there on the far side. One back black to block. It's a snap, and he's looking downfield. He's going to have to get this out quickly as pressure comes around on the edge. Cuts back inside, showing off those wheels. Has the first down and more, and brought down at the 40-yard line. So, as I said earlier, we had pretty good pressure right there. You just got to do a better job of staying at home with a couple guys. There is a flag in the backfield. I would suspect a hold or a block in the back. As we await the call, I think you are right about that. As again, the comments fell victim to that so many times last week. How many holding penalties did we have on those, you know, down the distance we tried to run to the edge and get it called back for holding? And it felt like every time we got momentum going, like a 20, 25-yard run or something like that, get pulled back or just even a first down. That was just a five-yard penalty, though, so. Yeah, so second down and 14. As we'll try this one again following the penalty shotgun set. It's a two-by-two. Two. Number eight motion snap. And he'll just kind of toss it here. There's the reverse again. So quarterback's going to set a block. Head to the edge there and trying to tackle. Clifton Craighead brought down inside the 40. Really good design right there by the Tigers. Um, similar play to what we ran earlier with our reverse, but they were able to get a little bit better block on the edge than we were. And uh, quarterback went out there, like you said, to make a good block. It's pretty cool to see a quarterback do doing that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, similar to what Graydon Davini does for us as far as just hard nose and not afraid to get dirty. Guys yeah, getting really starting to eat the clock here. And they'll move that one forward there. What did you see, Coach Phillips? I don't know what that call was. Um, he stuck his hand out and <laughs> put it behind his back. Uh, I wasn't sure if he was posing for a picture. Or, I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. We'll, we'll ask the, somebody that knows what that is. 47-yard <laughs> line. That's all right. After adjusting the spot there, here we go. Shotgun set still rolling that two-by-two. Two. Snaps it, and he's looking left. He's going to let it out quickly here. There's a man open in space. Good tackle there and finish by Clifton. Nice little five-yard hitch route right there by number one. I think as long as we're giving them that space, they're going to continue to take those five, six-yard dip and dunks. 
uh, be anxious to see if the Comets adjust and try and press up a little bit to try and uh, stop that. All right, second down and five. Because, again, really the time of possession here is already inside of three minutes here in the first, just really eating up a lot of clock. Shotgun said it's a two-by-two. Two. He'll look back to the sideline here, maybe a audible or an adjustment. Gets a signal. Looks back right, snap. Looking left, kind of staring down his man there. Just has to go up and get it. His number one cuts back inside. It's wrapped up by Chris Douglas. I mean, that's that same little hitch route play. And, uh, I think I, I think that was Oakley and uh, and maybe Chris going in or Graydon going in on that. And they both kind of looked like they're halfway between going to pick it off or halfway between going to tackle the guy. You've got to make one decision. It's either I'm going to get that ball or I'm going to tackle the guy. One of the two. You can't get caught in the middle. Working quickly here, right back at the line of scrimmage. Inside the 35, snap. Looks left, really staring it down. Let's it fly, wide open. Two guys open the middle there, and brought down inside the 10. All that really was just seems down the middle, and, and we all got caught looking at the uh, quarterback. I mean, you've got to read and react to where they're at. And, um, <clears throat> just got to do a better job. That's all there is to it. And down here again, 7-0. Comet's got to be super careful here. Is, you know, got to some, find some way here with the short field here in the red zone. Got to find a, some way to get a stop defensively as this could start rolling downhill very quickly. As they'll load them up on the line of scrimmage said, they'll just run straight ahead with the QB. And brought down, I think, by Derek Pratt inside the five. Was that number eight, Tanner Rice, on that one? I believe on so. Carry. Yeah. I think they moved him. That's more kind of their wildcat set whenever they put him in at Q. I guess belldozer set is what some would be familiar with. <laughs> Bringing back old days right there. Boomer Sooner, my friend. Hey, we're in good times right now with Sooner no football. Doubt. All right, so here we go. Second down and goal. Snap. And they'll do that same play again. Wide open hole, but good job getting back to it lately, Clifton Craighead. Similar situation, they kind of went off tackle that time to the right. Last time it was more of off guard, just a dive play. That was more of an outside zone. Um, look for some same stuff, man. Uh, also look for a little tight end slip right here. All right, we'll see if you can Romo this one up. Third down and goal. Just heads up the middle there. The Comets try to plug it, but I think he's got it. Touchdown, Tigers. Same play, just went schoolhouse right, schoolhouse right, schoolhouse right, and we stopped it twice. Uh, the third time we were there, we had the penetration. You just got to finish the play. That's a big old guy, man. Though, you know, we talked about how big these guys are, and, and they're big at receiver, they're big at running back, they're big at tight end, they're big at O line, D line. It's just a uh, just a big crew, man. There's a reason why they're top five in the state, and we're starting to see that right now. Yeah, yeah Coach Potter talked about in the pregame. This and Minko, these two teams. You know, this is the cream of the crop right here. You're going to find out what you got playing these two teams as the kick is up, and it's good. I'm blocked by the wall, so you're going to have to let us know if those are in or out. <laughs> <laughs> Got to give some shout-out here to Coach Martinez, dealing with two wonderful personalities up here, managing that camera tonight. And uh, you guys get to hear him, too, as we're going to trade off a little bit tonight. As uh, Kind of been enjoying honing in my camera skills, so you guys get to hear Coach Martinez a little bit tonight. And, Got Coach Phillips alongside me here, too. Really thankful. I'll tell you what, we have a great time on our trips and stuff, and really thankful we get the opportunity to do this. And, you know, it doesn't happen without you guys at home watching our stream and kind of enjoying everything we got to offer. Coach Martinez doing a bang-up job over there on the mic, or on the uh, camera. Just for everybody to know here, 14 zip. Of course, you can see that down on the scoreboard. we got a minute left, actually about 39 seconds here in the first quarter. So Coach Phillips, what do we need to do here as down 14 zip? Man, you just got to get something going, whether it's a, you know, a reverse or, or whether it's just a downhill run. Um, you've got to get some push up front, and your, your running backs and quarterbacks carrying the ball got to get downhill. And a good return right here would help too. All right, so here we go. There's that little pooch action. Yeah, and he's going to feel that. I think he steps outside of bounds at the 18-yard line. I think they were at the 20, actually. Yeah, I believe that that might be. I don't know if that's fair catch situation or not. 
Seemed like he might have had possession of the ball and then took the step out of bounds. Yeah, I think that's what happened. So they're going to put it at the 19, 20, somewhere back there. That's a tough situation, man, because you're, you're sitting there on the sideline and think, man, I should let this go. But at the same time, if you do let it go and it takes a bad bounce, you're looking at it, it's, it's, you got eight orange guys all over you, you know what I'm saying? All right, so here we go, staring down 14 zip. Again, game far from over. We saw last week, 32-12, and opposing team was able to climb back in at Western Heights. So, again, game's never over till it's over here. So, pistol formation. Snap. He'll hand it off here and plugged Ball's up the middle. The Ball's on the ground. He's got it. And a big man touchdown. I love it when it's the Comets, but ooh, brutal to see from the other side. Yes. Basically, you had a... Uh, Similar read what we had earlier, quarterback read, and um, Grading got Grading got lit up right there, man. It's tough for a quarterback to continue to keep a hand on the ball when he's getting hit like that. And again, we talk about time, not time possession. Excuse me, turnover battle here is Comets having a tough time securing the football. You know, ball security is extremely important, but like you said, he got lit up. You know, some yeah. of that's going to happen, but you know. Crescent really coming out here and playing physical, playing hard. We knew their size and physicality were going to be an issue, and my goodness, we're seeing it so far yes. from these young men out here. So another thing to point out here, you know, kicker going, an opportunity to go three for three, and, you know, in Class A football, that's, I know extra points are a small intricacy of the game, but to go three for three, you know, he's kicked the ball pretty well here uh, on special teams. It's a big it's a big part of their, what they do, honestly. Um, when you can auto, you know, like, it's almost automatic that you're going to get that seven compared to six or compared to eight. Like, it's just nice to know you're going to get seven every time. We say that. Hopefully we, we don't jinx it. I mean, kind of. <laughs> yeah, to the Crescent fans watching the stream tonight, yeah. not trying to jinx. Yeah, we're not trying to jinx this man. Trying to brag on the young man without jinxing him. And snap. Kick is up. It's high, too. Yeah. Big arch there on that kick. It's good. He almost kind of scoops it up off the ground where he kicks it. Gets a lot of backspin on it. And just like that, 21-0. So the Comets, again, have found themselves in a hole, but you know what? I know they're resilient. They're well coached. They can get themselves out of this. They've really got to try and find something to be excited about. You know what I'm saying? Like you get down 21 to nothing and – and I know everybody says, yeah, we're just playing football and football's this and football is our life. Well, yeah, it is, but when you're down 21-0, man, and you just continue to get beat on, like it's hard to it's hard to find something good. And, and that's what they've got to do is find something good and get going downhill with the football too. Yeah, and you know, we talk about there are a lot of freshmen on this team. Last week they had the opposite. They were up big and they faced a little resilience and it was a tough situation. This week it's the opposite. You're down. You're on the other end of the ball this year, or this week, excuse me. And so, hey, can you dig down? Can you find you know, a way to get yourself back in this game, get some kind of momentum, yeah. as you alluded to, get something to work right? Just baby steps, one at a time. And little things can quickly build into something much bigger. I believe there's a penalty on that, on the – on the touchdown for celebration, and they tacked that on to the kick. That's why they're kicking from the 25. So, you know, go get you a big kick return right here. Maybe that's some excitement. Yeah, and I'm definitely a guy that can do it. Damien Gomez down there as kicks off. And again to that left side. Scomets will take the good start in field position again. Yep. Like the color of the flags there for the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Pink flags out tonight. Yes. A lot of people were wearing pink at school today and uh, supporting the cause. Yeah, I'll tell you what, too, is he'll, start, he'll get good field position here again. Uh, that's something, you know, goes great with Comet Red. I love that about, you know, we yeah, do breast cancer yeah, awareness. Like, man, I can wear something pink, and yeah. it goes great with Comet attire. Mm -hmm. so nice I love our detail addition to your red. <laughs> All right, so here we go. It's a shotgun set. It's a two-by-two, two, and Comets need to do something here. Gomez in motion. They'll just hand this one off. Let him turn downfield. Spins out of one. Falling down inside the 50 at the 48-yard line. Kind of crazy. He had to work that hard to get four yards. But it's a really good run by Damian. I mean, he's one tackle away, breaking one more tackle to possibly get a 20, 25-yard run right there. Yeah, and I think that'll run the end of the quarter off that play. Is mm -hmm. 
It's hard to see the scoreboard from where we're at, so I have to really lean over, but I know it was inside of 30 following that snap. So I think that's the end of the first quarter, and we will do it. So your comments, trailing 21 zip to the Tigers. We're hoping for a better second quarter, but we'll come back from a quick break. Don't go anywhere, second quarter in just a moment right here on HitComments.tv. Two words, cash back. Two more words, you're welcome. Remember that jar in your dresser where you would throw your loose change at the end of the day? Then occasionally, you take the jar to the bank to have it counted and enjoy a bit of a surprise to find there is more in there than you thought. That's Square One Banking, the account with a virtual money jar, and it's offered exclusively by Legacy Bank. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals... And we're back. Uh, Coach Phillips, I'm now here with Coach Martinez. We rotated a little bit. Coach uh, Mr. Allen's on the uh, camera now. And Comets have the ball back. I believe it's second down, about six. Graden of any back in the empty set. Two by two receivers. Motion, Trevor Rodman. Graden keeps it. And just nothing going on that play. What do you got there, Coach Martinez? Just a bunch of big bodies right there up the middle. And we really just – our line just has not been able to push them out of the way yet to give Graydon or those running backs any space to run up there. Mm -hmm. So we're back to about third and nine. Um, you know, we'll see what, what Coach Potter gets dialed up right here. Um, I'm anxious to see if we might try and go to the air a little bit here. Maybe a little slant pattern across the middle or uh, <laughs> we're all lined up a little bit off. That's all right. We got on the ball. Went to the air. Nice. A little uh, trying to let Damien get out there in space, do something. And really, you know, a nice little gain, two or three yards right there. Um, you know, they're giving us a bunch of space in those third down situations. Yeah, and you really like to see them attack that outside. Most of their big bodies are up the middle, and then on the outside, we can kind of keep up with them. And, and it looks like the comments are going to punt right here on fourth and long with number 23, I believe, to receive. Low punt by Deuce, gets a Comet roll. And that ball will be downed at the 21 yard line. We're going to need to get our defense going right here. Down 21-0 already. We'll have to step up the game right here and be a little bit more physical up front. Sorry about the absence there. We had a guy trying to turn a phone into us. So if you're missing your phone and you're at the game, uh, it's at the press box. But we're not those people. Um, so anyway, uh, was that a punt right there by Deuce? Yep. Punt. Okay, punt down to the 20 yard line, um, 21 yard line. It's uh, first and 10 for the Crescent Tigers. I'm anxious to see right here if the Comets can can spread out a little bit and try and contain these runners and and, and see what we can get done here. Crescent with the guy out wide near the Way, side way wide, here. yes. Just completely take him out of the play. Snap is back. Hand off to C.J. Wilson. He cuts it up, finds a gap, and he might be going to the house. Man, that guy is fast. I tell you, that was a really good design. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've seen a uh, – uh, split backs and a shotgun set, and they kind of fake the handoff to the first guy, and then and then let him follow behind him, and just really really difficult to uh, stop that when their line does such a good job of breaking open a hole right there. And that running back had great speed. Yes, <laughs> took that 80 yards in a flash. I think that one might have been. No, that was. <laughs> As high as that is, Mr. Allen talked about earlier, Nathan talked about earlier, you you think it's wide left, but it's it's right down the middle. Uh, so now the Comets are uh, down four scores. Uh, you know, like we've, we've, we've talked, the Crescent Tigers just, you know, it's kind of their 
kind of their calling card to just kind of speed up and, and go by and have all that size and all that speed. And uh, the comms just got to find a way to kind of slow that down. And, 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 you know, right now I think you're looking for, for a win of some kind. And, and a win for the comments right now would be getting a first down. I don't know if we've had – I think we've had a couple first downs maybe on that first drive. Since then we haven't. And you just got to find a way to manufacture positive yards and, and get downhill and uh, get out there and try and create some of those first down situations, get some confidence going and find a way to get get back into this game. Yeah, D uh, Damian Gomez is back to receive now, and he's been able to slip a couple of tackles with the ball in his hand so far. Let's hope he can slip one big here and take it for a couple of yards. It'd be huge momentum if he did. Number seven, uh, back to kick again. Whistle blows. Here's the kick. That one's going to go through the end zone. Oh, why hadn't just done that every time? <laughs> so the Comets are going to get the ball at, I believe, the 25. I think it's the 20. 20, at the 20 I'm sorry, school. on a touchback yet. Um, we'll see what the Comets have on offense. You know, we were talking earlier about, about finding positive yards and, you know, who are you going to go to? Are you going to go to Trevor? Are you going to go to Graydon? Are you going to go to Damian? It doesn't really matter who you go to if you don't have time. And, and up front, we've got to get a little bit of push, and we got to execute everywhere. Everybody's got to execute. And I think if we start executing together, we might be able to find some gaps here and there. Yeah. And as many of you probably know this, Jake Wright is out. That's a big piece to our both yes. offense and defense. Straight hand off to Trevor, the right side. He's still, still on his up. feet. And I believe just, that's probably a no gain. I think he got to the line of scrimmage. Um, but, man, that is, the Crescent Tigers just a wall of defense, man. Yeah, they hit him quick right there. I mean, the second Trevor gets the ball, it feels like there's orange right around him. Uh -huh. Comets are getting the signal. Um, I believe that's Clifton Craighead out to the right. You got Deuce Tripp in there, Trevor Rodman. Uh, no, that's Clifton out to the left. I apologize. That's uh, Xander over to the right. Graden back in a uh, single back set. It's Trevor back there with him. Kind of a heavy set for the Comets. The snap. Fakes the handoff. And Graydon just, just threw it away. Yep, just got it away. You know, he just – it's – you've got guys kind of running free out there. Like, Craighead was running across the middle. He was free. But it's just – it's real difficult for Graydon to see those guys just because there's so much pressure up the middle. And yeah. really that was a good play call. Yeah, that play actually likes to even go to that because they're loading up the box because us, we're up there too. And having that play action right there with Clifton almost wide open. Just doesn't have enough time to throw it. It's like Deuce in the backfield. We uh, sp split out Trevor, snap to Graydon. I mean, just a guy all over him. Balls on the ground again. Recovered by Graydon, I believe. So we'll have a fourth down. The comments are going to send the punt unit out. And, man, I mean, by the time Graydon caught the ball right there on the snap, there was already a, a Tiger back there. I believe that's number 80, uh, uh, Chisholm Watson over there on the left side, man. He's just all over the comments. You know, you look at him, they, they've got 10 or 11 ready to go block right here. They're being really aggressive on this punt. And Deuce is all the way with his feet at the back. Need a good snap. Get it off quick. It's really a good job by Deuce to get that out of there and a good job by the Comets. A net 27, I believe, because we we're on the one, I believe. I'm not yeah. sure. Deuce is at the very back. Yeah, I mean, his heels, there. I mean, he heels are on the end zone, man. There's yeah, just safety. not much a guy can do in that situation other than just get it out of there, you know. Now you hope that the common defense can step up right here. Obviously. 28 points so far in the first half is, without a doubt, the most we've given up all year. Yeah. They've got a uh, two-wide set over here to the right, and I believe they're going back to that two-back set. Um, it's more of a pro setup, tied in to the left. you got a ninja setup over here to the right. And see if they throw a screen this way under center. Fullback gets it. And really a good job of stopping them right there. You know, that's that's a good job of keeping them to two or three yards right there by the comments. 
That was number eight, Tanner Rice on the on the carry right there. That's the guy that when they go to that bell dozer setup that they use in that bell dozer setup. And you really like seeing Crease step up right there. He's playing that mic position for the first time, and he stepped into that hole right there and actually got a pretty good hit on the running back early to slow him down. Tigers come back out. They're going to come back out in the same set. But they're going to split their wide receivers to the right and the left. They got one right, one left, tied in on the left side. And a pro set up by the fullback and running back. Quarterback takes it, hands it off, actually keeps it. Nice little pass to the tight end, and he drops it. And looks like there's a flag on the point on the far side. I'm hoping it's not a defensive holding. Because I wasn't watching that. I was watching this back side over here, or this uh, ball side play over here. Looks like they're going to tuck it out. Uh, An eligible man downfield. Okay. I went and watched a game last night, uh, Coach Martinez, and, and there was a two-point conversion in the end zone, and they ran a reverse pass. And on the reverse pass, there was a lineman downfield, and they, they connect the pass, and it's a touchdown, and then there's a flag on the backside, and everybody's trying to figure out what it is. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's an eligible man downfield. That's the only thing I can think of. And sure enough, that's what it was. You don't see it very often, but when you got teams that pass like this all the time, you run into that situation. And it looks like the comments de declined that penalty to make it third, third and long. Yep, third and long. And I can understand what they're doing right there. I mean, you're going to get the same type of play at third and long or second and long, so – Looks like three receivers to the right, one to the left, running back, snap here. Comets get good pressure on the quarterback, but just not very good coverage in the backfield. Um, all that was was a post route by uh, Isaiah Lovett. He comes across the middle, and Comets, nobody picked him up, and, and you see the touchdown. But I will say, you know, we drew up a blitz right there, and uh, I like that. I like seeing the blitz on one side and kind of strengthening that one side, trying to get in there and cause something, you know, like – we talked about earlier, like a, a turnover of sorts like that. So we got number seven again back here to kick. It's Mr. Varner. Can he go five for five? No, he cannot. Line drive right into the center's legs. Yes. And I'd like to say that was caused by a little bit of the Comet pressure right there, you know? I mean, that's a positive situation right there. Honestly, the smallest thing can go our way. And uh, really, that was a little bit better defensive stand right there by the comments. They just let that one over the top get over. And, you know, um, uh, we've got to do a better job of staying fundamental and, and uh, see what we can get done here. That was a real good pass by number seven right there as well. Yeah. I mean, most quarterbacks, class A, you don't really see that type of zip on their ball. Yeah, he can really sling it. You know, he can kick it. He can run. He's he's a really super athlete. Um, you know, we played them last year in the regional basketball tournament. When I was scouting him out, I was sitting there tell, telling my guys and telling myself, "Hey, if that guy gets hot, like like he's the guy we got to shut down." And you know, thankfully we were able to kind of weather the storm when he did get hot and come out with the win. But he's a he's a darn good athlete. And, uh, it's fun to watch, honestly. Kicked by him again. That one's into the end zone again. That's quite the leg on him. Yes. Also, number seven, I've seen him on the mound a couple of times in baseball. Okay. And he sat probably in the mid-80s, if I were to take a nice guess at that. Mm -hmm. I believe he was their number one as well. It's really just one of those really good overall athletes. So the comments come out in here. So Cummins get the ball at the 20-yard line. Um, we've got to do a, a decent job on first down of getting positive yards right here, you know, and just finding something to build on. It's like we're in more of that kind of heavy set. we got two receivers split out, handoff to Trevor Rodman. And Trevor stopped early for about a two-yard loss. And once again, I mean, Crescent's line, defensive line, has got some big kids on it. Well, and, uh, and some athletes too. The thing right now is, like you say, they're big and they're athletic. But you know, being down in this situation, they're not afraid to bring seven guys. Like they're gonna, they're gonna blitz. And they're gonna say, all right, throw it over the top on us, see what you can get done. And and that's part of the reason why why uh, 
great and does not have the time. And, you know, you stated earlier Jake being Jake being hurt. And when Jake's hurt, you know, everybody has to move over one position. And, and it's just it's a difficult situation. Empty set, rolling him out, giving him a little bit of time to run and gets it to Clifton. Clifton runs straight forward. Nice little run by Clifton right there. Finishes the run off, you know, by, by hitting that guy hard. And, yeah, that's something you like to see right there. Sprint out. And then have a little bubble screen with your inside receiver. Just give it to him. Make your let your playmakers do their thing. Mm -hmm. Look for another quick pass situation right here. I believe it's third down and six. Uh, maybe a, a long six. Maybe a seven. Third down and seven. And uh, third down and six. I'm sorry. We we got it right. Uh, Mr. Allen's over there on the camera helping me out. He's he's better at counting than I am. Pass five. Um, <laughs> Comments are in that shotgun set. Deuce back there, I'm guessing, to help uh, block a little bit. There he is. Got some time right here. Grade's going to take off. Cuts it up field for about a four-yard, three-yard gain. Gives you a decent, you know, situation where you're fourth and three. Maybe you can go at it and see if you can't get a first down right here. I feel like it's worth a try. Yeah, at this point in the game, being down four or five scores, you really need something to get you going. Looks like we're going to go with the punt, though. And, I mean, you can't argue with that situation. Um, either way, I think I'm okay with it, you know. But you still, you look at it, you're on the 25-yard line. You hate to give it back to the Tigers on the 25. Hopefully Deuce can get a good punt off right here. Deuce does a good job of fielding that snap. Gets a good punt off. A little bit of a Comet bounce. And we'll have the ball at the 43-yard line. Tigers will get it. And you like to see Deuce feel that low snap right there, make the best out of a bad situation almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How much time do we got left, Coach Martinez? I can't see. We right have that ball. six minutes and 18 seconds left in this six, first 18. half. All right, we got six minutes, 18 seconds left. You know, you like to see a win for the defense right here. You know, they've. They've kind of been beat up on, and uh, the Tigers have kind of had their way with them. You know, see if we can if we can get a win on the defensive side right here. Go score a touchdown, and then you know your defense gets a break, and and you get the ball back after half. You know, that's kind of the plan you're looking for right here. Kind of in that pro set again. Looks like you're going to get a handoff to the running back keeper by the quarterback. Bo does a good job of covering it, and uh, Bo does a good job of getting upfield and. And causes the quarterback to kind of go off his back foot. Yeah, he made that quarterback throw it before he wanted to, and it, they got a two-yard gain on that. So you're sitting second and seven right here. You know, a, a TFL goes a long ways right here. Tackle for a loss goes a long ways. Get off the ball quick right here if you're with some of those interior linemen and see if you can't get something done on that quarterback or the running back. They're going to go pro set right, twins to the right, double tight set to the right also. So you're getting a big heavy set to the right. See if they try and go weak side maybe. Give it to the running back. He cuts it up. And that is number 11, Bryson Babb. They just run a bunch of guys out there, man. I mean, every time you look, man, they're putting a guy out there that can just run the football, um, just – athletic man they're just so deep you look on that sideline and they've got 30 to 45 guys out there that are that are all you know built well ready to go and and uh you know that's you can't argue that's that's a that's an advantage that the crescent tigers have right now is they're just a deeper football team and the, the comments and you know we talked about jake Wright being out and, and when you take a guy like jake out everybody's got to move over a spot defensively offensively everything and, and the comments have have struggled without him tonight Beldozer set to the right. It's a really, really good job by Crease Douglas chasing that guy down and then uh, Clifton getting in to finish that tackle. That was number nine, Colby Watson on that. I believe he is a sophomore, a uh, sophomore quarterback that they have. And you're talking about their depth. Uh, some people were saying that Crescent has 13 seniors on this team. Yes, They're yes. heavy upperclassmen. A upper load of seniors. You know what's crazy? They have 13 seniors, and the Comets have 13 freshmen. Get another heavy set to the right. Um, got number eight, Tanner Rice back out there, I believe. He's going to go wide or right. Is that eight or nine? Is that nine? 
played that tonight. Struggle with the numbers, man. That's number nine, Colby nine. Watson. <laughs> Trying too hard to get everybody's name out here tonight. Sub for the comments. That's uh, Graydon coming out. I believe that's Trevor that came in for him. And Crescent runs a unique offense in which they throw multiple guys out there at quarterback. We've seen seven and nine out there so far. We're seeing yeah. those snaps. Be a timeout by the Tigers. They want to talk it over and get the right play in and uh, kind of keep their momentum going. I wonder if the Comets can find some momentum here, man. You get a stop right here and big fourth down stand. I know we're on first down, but if you get – Get two or three stops, get a fourth down stand. You know, it's kind of crazy. First play of the game or first drive of the game for the Tigers, they go out there and, and they give up a fumble and you think, here we go. You know, the comments, comments are right where they want to be and then drop of a hat. The Tigers get their momentum going. And, and I tell you, when, when you're a good football team, you're able to weather those mistakes made. You know what I'm saying? You're able to, to keep the train rolling and uh, – that's something that the Comets are kind of looking to get rolling again. You know, we went into that game against uh, Western, Western Heights, Heights last week, and we had everything rolling, and everything was going really, really good. And, uh, you know, we're sitting there 5-0. and We're up 32-12, and you're thinking, we're going to be 6-0 at the end of this game. They come back and beat you. And it is so hard to get that momentum back after it's been taken from you. Um, you know, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. And uh, right now, we've got to find a way to, to get the Lord to give. And, and uh, what you got to do is just keep working hard, keep plugging away, and see if you can get something going your way. We're going to get a blitz off the corner by Clifton. Clifton gets in there and makes a tackle. Crease Douglas in on the tackle. Deuce trip. Just a swarm of comments. Some would say a sky of comments on the tackle right there. Yeah, and you really like seeing a, a bunch of guys help getting in there and making that tackle, especially with number nine back there. Most of the time they're going to run the ball. I think with number nine back there, you're going to see Coach Wofford and Coach Potter dial up a bunch of blitzes over the next, like, 14 plays. Watch for number seven out here, the quarterback. He's at receiver now. Watch for him uh, getting a pass right here for number nine. Maybe not. They're just going to keep running that thing. And then linebackers need to probably step up right there. It's a good tackle by Diego right there. And uh, Derek Pratt was in on the tackle as well. Um, play clock is moving. How much time do we have now? We have three minutes. Three minutes left in the half. I believe it's third down and one, third down and two. Big stop for the Comets right here if they can get this possibly force a field goal or get him in that fourth down situation. Coach Martinez, I bet you're going to have a run to the left. Nope, I was wrong. Run to the right. Same play, and we got him stopped early. Oh, he just kept plugging, and I believe he was able to get into the end zone. Yep, he's nice hard run by number nine right there. Just, it looked like we hit him early. We hit him behind the line of scrimmage, but it kind of just – Slid right by there. Honestly, we did a good job of hitting him early, and we just didn't get wrapped up enough. Man, I'm telling you, that guy's a load, dude. He's a big old boy, and he runs well. And uh, Comets just maybe got to hit him a little bit lower and, and gang tackle towards the ball as much as possible. Kick is up. Point after is good. I believe that's a 41-0 score. Uh, the Tigers will be kicking off to the Comets. The Comets will try and get something going in their direction. And you really hope that the Comets find some momentum on offense before halftime. Just anything. A couple of first downs would be nice just to get us going a little bit. We received the ball in the second half, which so we have an opportunity to score here and then get the ball immediately back to start the second half, hopefully with some momentum. i tell you, the comments are down a bunch right now, but you still see guys running down the down the field and, and hustling to get on the field, and that's something that you have to, you have to continue to have pride and stay, stay resilient, as we talked about earlier in a game like this, and uh, 
just really continue to work hard and plug away and hope that you can get some momentum going your way. See if he keeps it out of the end zone this time. Maybe lets Damien get a chance to return it. Nope, looks like it's going to be deep and left again. I'll tell you what, the wind is back. He's able to put a boot into that thing. Comments will get the ball at the 20-yard line again. And you really hope that you can just, at the bare minimum, drive this time out of this first half right here. Hopefully you can get a couple of first downs, maybe break one loose. You're bound to get one going deep here in a second at some point. Um, you know, the, the Tigers are very sound, but they're not perfect. You know what I'm saying? And and if you just continue to try and execute, one of these plays is going to go for a big, big pump right here, and you're going to be able to get some momentum going your way. Deuce back in the backfield again. You got Trevor out wide. Passing situation, I would guess. We're going to keep it and go straight over to Clifton, let him see, see if he can make a play, and just, just, just a jungle of tigers all over him once again. Comments going to that quick pass offense right now to get something going. Yeah, and I like that. I like you know some of those some of those smoke screens and things like that. Um, you know, you're trying to get them spread out more and more. So hopefully, you can get some running lanes through the middle of the field. And comments are just waiting. They're getting the signal right now from the sideline. I thought I heard an alarm earlier, but it was just sirens going by. Maybe it's a fire alarm or something. A uh, little bit of action going on up here in the press box. That's a nice run by uh, Green Davini for, I believe, a common first down. I believe we were the first, uh, yes, first down we've had able, in a while. Able to get a first down. You know, we talked about earlier how they were going to spread them out a little bit. Coach Potter making an adjustment to spread them out. And this is what I'm talking about, man. Like, like even when you're down big in a situation like this, you're able to, to get them spread out and, and try and get some things going. Deep pass right there to, oh, man, really a good ball to Clifton Craighead. If he keeps running, maybe he's able to catch that. A lot of traffic over there, but a good ball. Um, and, and once again, something to build on, maybe passing more, uh, maybe oh, spreading him out, like getting him spread out to that two-by-two two set and uh, giving our Comets a chance to get those cornerbacks and safeties out of the backfield. Kind of a hat on hat situation. Hand off to Trevor, cuts it up a little bit to the middle for about a two yard gain. We're going to have about third down and eight. And after this play, we will be under one minute to go in the half. Yeah. Coach Potter signaling the play, getting him in their setup. Bo Brookshire checking in on the line. I believe that was Raffy that he'd come in for. Two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Running back in there with him, deuce trip, snap. Graydon backs backs up, throws the ball to the right. Look catch by Trevor Rodman, an unbelievable catch by Trevor. And really a good pass for Graydon. You know, he was able to get it out there where only Trevor could go get it. Yeah, you see Graydon scrambling right there and being able to make that pass on the move. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. He does a good job of, of breaking that first uh, blitzer. Um, same situation right here. We're going to go Graydon over the right-hand side for a good little eight-yard gain. And a flag on the play, late flag on that far side. We've got some pink laundry on the field. Up until that point, the second quarter had been kind of penalty-less, like without a penalty, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, maybe that like that ineligible man downfield. Let's see what these guys have right here. Looks like a personal foul on the Tigers. I'm not sure if it was like a face mask or, um, you know, it could have been anything. Who knows? It's really kind of been a well clean played game outside of, outside of that call right there. People have handled themselves correctly. And I believe that puts us on the 27 with 36 seconds left. Tacks on another 15 yards, and, and you know, you look up right here, and Comets call a timeout, stop the clock, obviously. And uh, we're sitting first down and 10 from the 27. We talked about finding some momentum. You know, if we can go in there and get a touchdown right here, or even just continue this drive until the time runs out, 
and have some positive movement for us, then we can get into that second half and build on that and build on that and build on that. Who knows? You know, you get a touchdown here, a touchdown there, your three scores out. It becomes a little bit of a game. Crazier things have happened. And it's been nice that we've been able to spread the ball out. Graydon's been passing it a little bit and getting our running lanes open up the middle. We just saw Graydon take advantage of that, obviously. Eight-yard gain on that run before the penalty. Mm -hmm. And if the Comets can continue to give Graydon, you know, two seconds, three seconds in the backfield to, to try and work through his uh, – Oh, what's the word? <laughs> progressions, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Work through his progressions, you know, first receiver, second receiver, third receiver. And if he has to, take it down and go. Three wide to the left, one to the right. Deuce in there, running back again next to Graydon. Comments take their time. Motion to the right for uh, Deuce. Snap. Deuce picks up a block right there. Ooh, just a little early on the throw. Um, and we went to break. Was that Clifton that slipped out of there? Yeah. Clifton is down. I don't know if that's maybe a maybe a hamstring or ankle or something lower body, obviously. When you slip like that, you never know what you're going to get as far as, you know, what could have happened right there. Doesn't look good for the comments, though. We'll see what we can get. We're going to go to a break the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Back. Clinton is up and walking, which is always a good sight. Um, he walked off with a little bit of help. You know, just a really a sad situation. You watch Jake go down last week, a, a guy that's had some knee problems, and then, you know, I don't want to try and forecast anything. Clifton goes down right there, a guy that's had some past knee problems. You you know, we're going to pray for Clifton, hope he's healthy, a guy that works his tail off and practice in the weight room every day, and, and he's a senior leader for this football team. Um, Anxious to see kind of what, what we get there, and, and when we get an update, we can let you know. Uh, back to the game, Graydon in the pistol set. He's going to go under center. I think Looks like a wildcat, a wildcat set. Cat. Yep. Perfect. We turn around and then give it to Deuce. Deuce to Graydon. Graydon with a nice play to the 15-yard line. Um, somewhere in there, 15 to 10-yard line. And really nice setup by the Comets. A really, really nice setup by the Comets. You get a first down, which stops the clock. Yeah, and you really – like seeing that play call, especially since Deuce is obviously our backup quarterback, and him being in there allows us to do that stuff. Yep. Graden with the run up the middle. And timeout by the Comets to stop that clock and try to get at least one or two more plays off before this half ends. Do we have any timeouts left? I believe we have one left. I think we've used all three because we used one at the very beginning of the game before our first play. Yeah, I think that's right. And then we've used two here to yeah. stop the clock. Ten seconds left on the clock. Um, definitely a pass situation right here. I believe the ball's at the 11-yard line now. Um, you know, you got to take a shot at the end zone or maybe something in the middle. And uh, I tell you what, we are able to get a first down, though. The markers are still up. So if you get that first down, you're able to get up there quick and clock it. Um, at the high school level, that's you know that's nothing easy, honestly. That's that's something that you know maybe you practice on Wednesdays, uh, practice a little bit in the beginning of the season. Um, there's just so much to get in in a high school week. Uh, anxious to see what we do right here. I like the little reverse, you know, uh, plays that Coach Potter has put in. You know, kind of add a little seam here and there. Uh, really, some good creativity right there. 
Got yeah, Graydon back there yeah. again with Deuce. And what's the like timeout by Crescent right here? Timeout by the Tigers. Kind of wanted to see what we were in. Kind of curious to see who they go to down here in this spot. Clifton out, obviously, right now. You expect them to stick with Graydon or Trevor Rodman. Yep, you got Graydon, Trevor, but hey, hey, honestly, I mean, you got athletes on the outside. Colton Helms, Damian uh, Gomez, and, and Xander Furrow. Um, I mean, you, those guys are all capable of catching a pass, you know what I'm saying? And, and you also got Deuce. Deuce is a halfback type guy. You know, he's built more kind of like a tight end, a bigger, taller tight end for a high school level. And he's got good hands. You know, we've, we've got younger guys out there that got good hands. You know, we were talking earlier about the Tigers having 13 seniors. The Comets roll 13 freshmen out on their roster. You know, it's a outside of the four or five seniors that we have, it's a, it's a it's a freshman heavy team. And but they're good. They're athletic and, and they're working hard. You know, the future is bright for the Comets. That's what I that's what I'm really trying to get at. Tigers come back out on defense. Comets are set up. Looks like kind of a similar set. We're gonna run Deuce out to the right though. Look for Deuce to maybe slip out with Crease right behind him or uh, look for uh, those two to kind of help block. Rolls out to the right. Doesn't see anything, he's gonna try and cut it up. Looking for something, doesn't see anything. I believe he's out of bounds. Yep. He fumbled the ball out of bounds as well. So fumbled the ball out of bounds. Should be two seconds clock. left on the clock. We'll get another snap here and, and get another chance at the end zone. Um, in this situation, we cannot take a sack. I mean, you've gotta get rid of the ball, give your guys a chance. Um, and uh, at this point, you know, throw it up there for grabs, see what happens, let one of our guys make a play, and uh, go into the half with possibly a score right here. The Comets have had a great drive this possession, uh, something to build on, a little bit of momentum building right here. Uh, two left, one right, tied into the right. Graydon takes a snap, drops back, throws the ball up. Oh, and it's knocked out. Really a pretty good defensive play. That was a good route. I believe that was Damian that he was throwing. Or was that Xander who was throwing that too? That was Xander. Xander ran a pretty good route, cut right in front of the defender, and Graydon puts a pretty good ball on it right there, but the defender was able to get his hand in there and break it up. And you're looking at a score of 41-0 going into the half. The Comets will get the ball, and we're going to go to break right here on HintonComets.tv. November 14th, those who live in the Hinton School District will have the opportunity to vote on our upcoming bond issue. Absentee ballots and early voting are permitted. Once again, if you live in the Hinton School District, you have the opportunity to vote on this upcoming bond issue. It is a 0% tax increase and will provide seven new classrooms for our Hinton School District. If you have any further questions, please contact Superintendent Marcy Derryberry or members of the Hinton Bond Committee.
Testing, testing, testing. Stream with Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon and Deuce of Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with... Yeah. All right, I want to welcome you back here to the start of the second half. Comments trailing 41-0. Again, those who watched the first half, really tough. You know, a lot to take from that first half is Crescent came out to play. You know, it's their homecoming night. They got a lot of depth that Coach Phillips has talked about. Uh, just played physical, stacking guys on the line of scrimmage, blitzing, you know, Darren has tried to beat him in the passing game. You saw on that last drive before the end of the half, the Comets trying to mix things up a little bit offensively. So good things happening right at the end of the second quarter before half. So we'll see. They're going to get the ball here first, Coach Martinez, and we'll see if they can make something happen, you know, have a positive drive, make something good happen, maybe get some points on the board, and uh, go from there. Yeah, as you said, this Chris team came out firing. They're really good. Uh, I believe they were ranked top five in the Class A coming into this game by multiple reports. And we started off with a touchback. Comets will have the ball at the 20-yard line. All right, so here we go. The first look at the offense here in the second half is, again, like we talked about, you know, can't go anywhere from here but up. You know, the first thing you need to do is we got to win at the line of scrimmage. Offensive line's got to play a little bit better this half. Uh... You know, you got to get forward yardage here. You got to stop running around the line of scrimmage and getting, you know, players in the backfield with a tackle for loss. Got to progress forward here. So I, or a pistol formation here. Hand off right side. Turn up field is again just meeting him at the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Uh, Trevor got a couple of yards on that. And as we saw at the end of the first half, we were getting some momentum. We were starting to get the ball up the middle a little bit more. We spread them out. And we were able to attack those gaps. All right, second down here in 10. There's a no-gainer there on the first down play. Again, not, not sure quite if they have a running clock here yet or not. 
As, uh, again, they're going to try to chew a lot of clock, you know, here. Comets, they need to move more up-tempo for sure offensively. Going to have to, you know, get downfield here. They hand this one off. Rolling out. Yeah, Sex going to fake it open. here. And I tell you what, ball's out. And Crescent falls on it. It's another turnover for the Comets. Yeah, we slipped the guy out right there. Number eight, Colton Helms, was about five, eight yards down the field. You really don't want to see great throw that ball right there. Colton Helms had no one near him by a good 10 yards. Let your receivers do their thing. We have good enough athletes on the outside, so we need to get them involved somehow. All right, so here we go. Following the turnover again, just it's that kind of night. You know, it's one of those kind of nights where you're just kind of getting beat up and trying to make positive things happen and get things going any which way you can and just didn't need the turnover there on the first drive. And now they're going to get a stand here defensively, as you alluded to a second ago. So shotgun set going empty again. You know, they really like going empty. I think they trust what they have in quarterback. Blitz here on the edge. Has to get it out quick. Going up to secure the balls. Number two and into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. On a little, just a quick curl route there. And what'd you see there, Coach Martinez? You know, common defense right there. Playing well off the ball. Good 10 yards. And it opens up for those quick hitch routes right there. And Crescent just saw that and exploited it pretty good. Yeah, and that's probably a better way to say that. A little more, more of a hitch route than a curl there. As again, trying to go, I think he went four for five in the first half. An extra point attempts. Trying to go five for six. Kick is up. And it's good. The kick is good. I'll tell you what, Mr. Allen. There are some cars parked on that side, and they have been getting dinked by that kid all night long. Yeah. And they, he puts a lot of arch on the football. I mean, it's impressive to watch him kick the ball. You know, we talk about Class A all the time. Being able to kick the ball, just being able to kick it accurately, you know, being able to get it through the uprights is impressive. But he's put a lot of arc on that ball. It looks like an experienced kicker that's been doing this for a while, and it's been fun to watch. It's impressive to see. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he's been doing this for the past four years. He is a senior, so they... So therefore, he, he has experience kicking. He has experience as a football player in general. All right, again, following the comments, following the turnover there. And again, at this point, you know, really you just got to start here. They need ball security. Need to choose some clock here. You know, you need to have ball security win as far as trying to get a five-minute drive. You know, try to get three, four, five minutes off the clock. Try to get yourself in a position where at least if you are having to punt, you can pin them deep. Just need any kind of momentum that they can get and secure right now as he's going to run this one out. Cuts back in to the boundary. Still in bounds. Can't be brought down at the 42-yard line, or excuse me, at the 36-yard line. Yeah, Trevor Rodman with a great run right there. And that's what we've kind of been needing. He's been kicking it out of the end zone so often that it hasn't let our return guys take advantage of the field, of the field their speed and ability to make people miss. But Trevor right there did a great job of doing both of those. So here we go, first and ten. Again, following the turnover in the last drive here. Got to move forward. Got to do the little things right. Is Making a quick substitution there is number 61. Racing to get in. I think there needs to be a penalty flag on that. You still had a player running to the sideline. Should be too many men on the field. And uh, it's going nowhere there. Looked like they were making a substitution there. Kind of got laid out. Yeah, And, and there's a flag. The flag. Yeah, you see number 61 just sprinting out there trying to get onto the field. And while number 23, I believe, is still trying to get off the field. To get the flags pink tonight for Breast Cancer Awareness. Kind of neat to see that. Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So, like the tribute, like all the pink. Goes good with the Comet Red. Some of our Comet players wearing those pink socks, too. Those high ankle socks. Looks like at least Derek Pratt's wearing some. As, again, taking a little bit of time here. Both teams looking off, or Comets looking off to the sideline here. So, shotgun set. Two receivers, twins out left. Two by one. Hand off up the middle. And I tell you what, met by a pair of Tigers as they were waiting on that one. Yeah, deuce up the middle right there. Getting met by several Tigers. And you like to see your freshman induce being able to take the rock right here and get up the middle. 
take some hits right here and get some experience doing that. Yeah, I tell you what here, wouldn't mind seeing like a screen or a quick out or something like that. Just kind of something to get, you know, you get yourself going with forward motion to get downfield. Is got two by one here, twins left, shotgun set. It's going to let this one out quick. as a nice little hitch route there, just short of the sticks. It'll be fourth down and one. And you expect the comments to go here, right? To go for it right here, whether that's a QB power or another quick pass to the outside. Yeah, like you said, four down territory here in fourth and two. Have to go for it at this point. If you get a turnover on downs, you get a turnover on downs. You know, have to believe Crescent knowing the score. You know, it's 48 zip at this point. Uh, having them run up the score is not a concern at this point of the ball game. You know, trying to get some momentum here, trying to get something positive out of a drive. And pistol set here. So hand it off, just dashes up the middle. But I tell you what, he's plugged. Going to have to extend to get the first. And this one's going to be very close. It looks like the refs are giving us the first down. Yep. Some may call that a favorable spot, but we call it a common first down. There we go. And you know what? With the situation here, no need to bring out the chain gang. You know, get the comments first down. And good job there. Nice job powering it up the middle. Had to work for those extra couple of yards there. And you like to see that. like to see some fight in the comments here. Even trailing big. Anytime you can still put up fight like this, it's always commendable. As a... Uh, Trying to get some early movement there from the comments. Pistol formation. Looking left. He'll decide to keep it and run. Has a gap and just lowers that shoulder and gains about three on the carry. Yeah, Gridden looking for the quick pass right there to Xander, I believe, or Colton Helms on the quick hitch. And instead decided to run it. And it looks like Trevor Hardman's limping off with a probably a cramp of some sort. And again, depth. We talked about that a lot. You know, you had an injury with Clifton Craighead. In the first half, you know, you're missing Jake Wright right now. These are players that you got to have on the field to be competitive. You know, not a whole lot of depth like you have with last year's team is going to the right here, but going the wrong direction. Needs to turn up field. And tell you what, there's a gaggle of Tigers bringing him down there at the 40 yard line. This Tiger defense is quick to the ball. Yeah, just like you said, just swarm into the ball as quick as they can. Just seem like they're reading the play extremely well, too. They read and react so well, which is one of the keys to a good defense. How well can you read the play and how quickly can you react? And four unblocked Tigers swarming to the ball carrier there. It's going to make for a long night for the Comets. So third down and 14. And you got to be careful here. You know, this is where you're the Tigers defense, you're thinking about a turn, trying to create a turnover. So he's got that backside or pressure. Has to get it out. Good throw to Gomez. Needs to turn down field and out of bounds. Short of the first. And you really like seeing that from Graydon being able to sprint out and get the ball thrown to the open receiver. Yeah, and I tell you what, I'd like to see Gomez, maybe the coach staff would too. I'd like to see him go ahead and just run forward and try to get that first down. Rather than going to the boundary, hey, lower that shoulder, do whatever you can, fight, squirm, try to get that first down rather than running out of bounds there on the third and long. But I'll tell you what, fourth and manageable compared to the last down and distance. It's a good spot for the Comets. So Shotgun said it's a two by one. Got a wing to the right side as he has plenty of time to throw. Let's it fly up the middle. Ball thrown just a little bit too high. Incomplete. And the Crescent Tigers will get the ball back at the 49-yard line. And we got a timeout here taken, I believe, by the Tigers. And we will take one here, too, and beat you right back here. Uh, catch you right back here in just a moment on HintComics.tv. Athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Two words, cash back two more words, you're welcome. Remember that jar in your dresser where you would throw your loose change at the end of the day? Then occasionally, you take the jar to the bank to have it counted and enjoy a bit of a surprise to find there is more in there than you thought. That's Square One Banking, the account with a virtual money jar, and it's offered exclusively by Legacy Bank. 
Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station. For All right, coming back out of the timeout here. First down, new set of downs here for the Tigers offense. And we really hope to see our common defense beat, get a stop here. It looks like Crescent probably has a couple of backups in the game now. Oh, and a pass right up the middle, just a little bit behind number 25, the intended receiver. And we see Peyton Cotter has filled in over here for Clifton Craighead. Obviously, Clifton's left the game earlier with a injury, and now we're filling in those spots. As again, just kind of let everybody know here, 6.09 here in the third quarter. Really quick moving game. Of course, last week's game was a three-hour plus game, so maybe that's just uh, maybe the game, the pace of the game feels quicker relative to last week. And good pressure there, having to get that one out. Nice throw and completion. Turning up field there. That's Gordon. And it takes two to bring him down at the 40-yard line. Good passing catch right there by the Crescent Tigers. And you really wish to see Colton Helms. He hit him early, but he got out of his hands right there. Yeah, really want to see him break down and just hit him. And a Smith Gordon there on the catch. Good catch, good run. As again, all the momentum, everything just going the Tigers' way tonight. You keep thinking they will let up at some point, but it's been relentless as they're continuing here as a they're going to run that side, strong side of the play at the 35 and out of bounds at the 31. Interesting formation there, kind of a had three to one side on that right side. Not sure if you call that, what you call that, twins or pinch or what would you call that, but interesting formation just running the strong side. Let's see what the Crescent Tigers come out in right here. Running down the play clock. Yes, yeah, so again, second down. Look at that play clock inside of 10. Just continuing to chew off as much time as they can. You understand that, of course. Empty set. Three by two. 20 in motion. Snap. Now just hand it to him. And good job there on the edge, blowing that play up. I tell you what, swarming to the ball late. Not sure who that was on the outside. As uh, is that Jacob Bonniewell? It looked like it. I think it was Jacob Bonniewell, a man that was much missed last weekend as the quarterback was having a field day running around. Um, good play there. He kind of blew that up, collapsed the edge. and Yeah, I believe they were going for the double reverse right there. It looked like he was ready to hand it off to another to a wide receiver coming over this way. So shotgun said it's a two-by-two. Two. Looking crack. right. Good pressure there. Has to get this one out quick. He's going to elect to keep it and brought down for no game. Oakley Pratt with great pressure right there, just blitzing right off the snap and getting to the quarterback's face. Teagan with the stop. That's a fourth down and ten. Good news for the Comets, you know. An opportunity to get a stop here and I have to believe they'll elect to punt. Can't imagine the situation then going forward up 48-0. Or maybe they will. Or maybe a situation where you kick it with the quarterback. Yep, just a little pooch kick. Yeah, just kind of a little pooch kick. Let's see what they come out in. That's another quick substitution. As uh, Jacob Buck center. subbing in. And a little confusion here. Two, one, zero on that play clock. Yeah, it should be a penalty there as he's going to roll it out here. Bootleg. Looking downfield. 15's wide open. Drops it in. 10, 5, touchdown. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Wow. Big touchdown pass right there by the Crescent Tigers. And it looks like we are kind of just substituting guys in and out right now. I see a couple of new faces, New Jersey numbers out there on the field. Number nine over here on this side, I believe that's Aiden Bashor getting some action tonight. Yes, it is. And you like seeing that. In a game like this, you have a ton of freshmen on the team. You want to see them get some play time. Get them used to the environment. Oh, and a doink there. 
just didn't quite get enough of the ball. <laughs> as uh, Not sure. I don't think it was quite on the snap there. Just didn't get quite enough of the piece of the ball. And you could see the way the projection of the movement of the ball there. That was going to be a little bit short. And that's good news for the Comets. As, uh, not a night filled with good news, but that will be one less point on the scoreboard. As We'll take a quick break and be right back here in just a moment. I'll hit comments. Less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. All right, here we go, coming back. 3.55 here left in the third quarter. Following the Crescent Tiger score, taking this one out is Gomez. To it straight to the boundary there. Pair of Tigers pushing him out at the 18-yard line. And you see Damon get out of bounds right there, which is actually probably a good decision. In a game like this, we don't need any of our guys getting hurt. So, therefore, smart play by the freshman right there to just get out of bounds and not get hit because the only people that were around him were three or four orange jerseys, and the last thing we need is Damian Gomez to get hurt when we're already down in depth. We need, I tell you what, we need Coach Phillips down there. Coach Phillips is hype man right now. This team could use a little hype, a little fire, you know, again, just have an off night. You know, these boys are capable of so much, and you have these kind of nights in football. So, love to have Coach Phillips down there hyping them up. And a snap here just lets it out here quickly, a little short hitch, and he'll turn back inside. And Progress forward there for a gain of six on the plate. Yep, Colton Helms with the catch right there and little screen action almost gets upfield. Yeah, and like you said earlier, we're going to be saying a lot of different names here in this second half. Is going to see what you got. Go to some different kiddos and a lot of freshmen. And hey, it's one of the good things you can pull out from this game tonight. Is uh, you get to go to the drawing board and kind of see what you got. Give some young guns a. Little opportunity to play here is a QB keeper right up the middle. That's enough for the first down. I'll tell you what. In a game like this, we can work on stuff. You know, get some passing in. We're not a pass-heavy team. So work on some of that passing game and just develop it for the future. And I'll tell you what, Deuce Trip's fun. He, he's a lot of fun to watch. He's back there with Davini is 243 left here in the third quarter. As you see the white hat signal the wine. As he's alongside Davini there. It's a shotgun set, a two by one. Snap. And just a hand off and oh it's, it's actually a good job keeper. there. A little, yeah, a little QB keeper, a little option play. And Graydon just trucking a kid on the other side of the field right there. Yeah, so nice job there. Good job selling that too, selling that handoff. Kind of got the defense to swarm inside, and you headed straight to the boundary. Had a good little run off the edge, and that's what you need. They need a bunch. They need about ten more plays just like that, where you're just kind of threading, just kind of you know punching it downfield. You know, getting four or five yards of carry, just a long drive, just to get us to the end of the third quarter. You know, just kind of a long, grueling drive. And he'll snap it here. He looks left. Back over the middle of the field. It's going to let it fly. This one intended for Colton Helms. He tries to high point it, but ball a little too high. Incomplete. Yeah, you see Colton Helms right there battling with that cornerback right there, bumping each other all the way down the field. Good pass by Graydon, though. You really like to see that. See what the comments go to right here on the third and four, third and five situation. Expect to see the ball back in the air again. He has the clock at 111. Gonna continue to run here, doing a running clock here in this second half. Shotgun set, two by one, just a handoff at the middle, trip. Powering forward there, no gain. Good stop there by Crescent. Because, again, that's kind of what they've done all night long, you know, just really plugging holes, 
not much doing up the middle. You know, we had a trouble with that last week. Number 55, that nose guard, that one tech, just absolutely dominated up the middle. And interior line struggles continue. And some of that is the defense. And what are you seeing on that so far this evening, Martinez? I'm just saying Crescent's DL has some big kids on it and they're experienced. So, therefore, they kind of attack the ball quickly and strongly. Yeah, here is kind of looking to his left. Gets that ball quickly. It's picked off. He's going to take it to the house to the 10. Five. Touchdown, Comets. That one picked off there by Braylon Babb. As he did a good job of reading that one. What did you see there? Graydon kind of just staring down his shoes right there. We need a fourth down. Wanted to get the first down. And that can make a good read. Read yeah. the QB's eyes and just jump the pass. Props to him. Yeah, and I mentioned that before the play, actually. You can kind of see the direction he was looking. And tell you what, a good DB can do a good job of reading the quarterback eye, quarterback's eyes, as you just said, and knew there's an opportunity to, j to jump a route there. Just a good job. Good read, good jump. Took that one to the house and 60 points. And they just continue to pour it on. You, you keep wondering at what point is the point extra is up and good. <laughs> You keep wondering at what point in time do you kind of go to that run the ball, that, that Tom Landry, you know, run the ball at the middle, take a knee, you know, kind of get this one put in the books. And I tell you what, Tigers got to commend them. They just continue to keep pouring it on. Yep, and we're going to get the ball back right here. You really just want to see a long drive. Let's see how much time is left. There's 11 seconds left in this third quarter. We're going to run the timeout right here, and then hopefully we can just kind of run the clock down that fourth quarter on this possession. Yeah, and again, you know, one of the things here, and you know, that's going to be difficult, and uh, it's, it's easy to take one game like this and extrapolate it out to be a really negative message. And, you know, people have to understand it's a long season. It's a roller coaster season. There are ups, there are downs. It doesn't matter to the sport, baseball, softball. There are highs and lows. And you got, you know, you come out of this, you've got Minko this coming Thursday. You've got uh, Cash in the following week. And then you end the season with Watonga. You go 2-1 and one in those last three games or 3-0, and oh, you're still in a really great spot. Really, you, you mainly just need to win the last two games to be in a to, to be in a decent spot, make the playoffs, and, you know, potentially go 7-3 and three on the season. So you can't throw away, you know, mentally they're going to have to come out of this and say, hey, you know, we got our teeth kicked in. This wasn't the kind of game that we wanted to have. But you know what? We still got so much in front of us. We're not going to fold up shop. We're going to come out here and play strong these last four games. And you still have so much in front of you if you're the Comets. And like you were saying, we have three games left. And playoff season is important. They go off at district points, meaning that if we have more points, then we're in a six-team district. Top four teams go to the playoffs. Yeah, all you need to do is be better than two other teams. And again, we've been pretty fair and unbiased this evening. We know, hey, Crescent's playing it to us, you know. But we've got some teams in the back half of that schedule that we feel like the comments are better than, uh, have a little more talent than, or playing a little better football than. And uh, like you said, so much still in front of us. You, I see it, you know, a couple of teams out there that uh, we ought to be have a good chance to get a win against. And so just can't, you know, come out of this night and emotionally just hang it up you know this is a tough night you're getting beat it's a young group of boys but I think they're going to handle this well I think I got a good mentality about it they're well coached you know coach Potter coach MacArthur all of, you know all of our coaching staff uh we got a great group of coaches and I think they're going to come out of this and be able to rally uh late in the season so first down shotgun set Gomez bouncing out left has plenty of space turn up field kind of show some wheels first down comments and props to Damian Gomez right there, getting that ball and just exploding. He's a heck of an athlete, super fast, and you just enjoy seeing him the ball in his hands because you believe that he's going to do something with it. It looks like we have Deuce in at quarterback and Damian in at tailback and Tyson Steiner, another freshman, in there as the fullback. Yeah, get to say some new names tonight. This is one of the few good parts about a game like this yet. Get to watch the different players play, and yeah, I think it's uh, Ty Orton out wide. Snap there, handing it off, bouncing to the right side. Gomez just trying to find some open space, and 
brought down at the 30. Wow. And you see Damien right there just kind of trying to find an open gap, but Crescent has not allowed an open gap this entire night, if we're being 100% honest. They have filled those gaps quickly, and props to Damien for trying to wait, for being patient, but you just need to get upfield every once in a while. Yeah, and I tell you what, good job there by their their linebackers and stuff. You know, everybody knows their assignment. Their spill, their cutback. You know, they did a good job of not over-pursuing, trying to go out there and make that solo tackle, just get into the boundary, and they know their player's going to be there to, you know, to finish the play. And so he's going to keep this one trip. Good open space right up the middle, down at the 45-yard line. That's enough for a comment first down. Nice tough run by Dish right there. You like seeing that from your fullback and quarterback. With 10 8 here in the fourth quarter. Hope we can get some more plays like that. This is kind of fun to watch. Nice gaps there in the last few plays. Um, that's what they need. You know, that's what the Comets do so well generally throughout the season is they've done a good job of creating running lanes. And uh, we've got several players, whether it be Rodman or Gomez. We've got dudes with wheels. So you get them in open space, let them turn upfield. That's what the Comets really start to thrive. So first down here, shotgun set two by one. One back with him is looking to throw here. Trip lets it go and just in and out of the hands intended for uh, Nehemiah Martin. I think that ball was actually intended for Damian Gomez, but there was two receivers just right there. But Damian Gomez was on the out route, and I believe that's where the ball was supposed to be going. Just a little bit of miscommunication by the young comment right there on the outside. All right, so a little substitution mm -hmm. here. They'll uh, kick him out wide. Yep, kick uh, Kaiser Pinnell out wide. Second down and ten. Shotgun set. Gomez back with him. On the wing out to the left, one on each end. And it out, heads off to the left side, needs some blocks downfield. Bonniewell kind of land, or Bo Brookshire land a block downfield, and it's a gain of about six, but a late flag on the plate. Yeah, I believe that's going to be a hands to the face or face mask penalty right there. It looked like a couple of the Crescent Tigers wrapped him up, but got hands up there, got hands up high. And I believe that is correct because the comments are moving down the field now. Be a first down from the 35 yard line. First 10, as you said, by a ball spotted about the 35 yard line. So, clock continuing to roll here inside of eight and a half minutes. Running clock here in the fourth quarter. Again, here's the part of the game that's a little bit of fun. Comets making some noise, having a little bit of fun. You get to see different guys in here uh, getting some playing time and just kind of get to be loose, relax a little bit. You know, this game's obviously decided. So, just get out there, play hard, try to earn yourself a little playing time, and Triple just keep it on the QB keeper and just finds another gap inside the 20, a little foot race, powering inside the 10, down at the 8. First down, Comets. Tell you what, that was a great run by Deuce right there. Deuce might not be the fastest guy, but he is tough. Yeah, to me, he's a good mix of athleticism. Has a nice initial burst. Has good strength, can lower the shoulder. Just a well-rounded athlete. Kicks the ball well, too. <laughs> it's another one of those young guys who are just straight-up athletes, all-around athletes. Him and Damian Gomez, we've seen provide big, big things for this football team so far this year. So here we go. New set of downs. First and goal. Ball inside the 10. Shotgun set. Snap. Hands it off to Gomez, who needs to find a lane. Cuts back outside. Down to the five. Pushing forward inside the five. Down at the two-yard line. Yeah, and you really love to see Damian bounce that outside right there like he did. He has that quick burst that just propelled him that way and let him get downfield right there. Yeah, good job. Good patience, too. Um, just kind of biding his time. And then when he found a gap, just turn up field. Like you say, he's got quick speed. He's a good athlete. These soccer players got good speed. I tell you what, we've got several that play uh, soccer when they're not playing football, and that's something I'd like to see over the you know over the years get a little bigger here at Hinton. We got a lot of boys that go out to Weatherford and stuff and play play soccer, and that's pretty cool. The multi-sport athletes, man. Yeah, 
Hands it off, just straight up the middle. Kind of cuts back, makes one man miss, and in the end zone for a touchdown. Comets. Damian Gomez with the touchdown right there for the Hinton Comets. And that's something you like to see right there, just ending on a positive note. Fourth quarter, subs are in the game, young guys are in. You just love to see the freshmen get in there. Yeah, and avoiding the shutout, most importantly. You never want to see an egg next to that scoreboard. So nice job there. And mentally, all those things matter. You know, you know you're getting beat tonight, but hey, you didn't get shut out. You had a quick good drive there, as you alluded to. And with 550 left to play here in the fourth, Comets can say they put a good drive together and put some points on the board. And it looks like there was a flag on play. Offsides by the Crescent Tigers. The extra point was good, but I believe it will be taken off and probably redone. Penalty was declined. But we're still re-kicking it for some reason. So there we go. Extra point is up. And it's good. Great kick, Great kick by Dish right there. All right, so your comments, lead, or comments getting some points on the board here. 61-7. Uh, we'll take a quick break and be right back here in just a moment on HitComments.tv. Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. high school streaming service scordle.tv find out more at scordle.com slash stream at maples nixon diesel horse we've helped a lot of people and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend and as a friend we've got your back always we understand what you're going through being lawyers is what we do but it's not all that we are we care We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are. All right, here we are. Comments, leading, or excuse me, giddy, giddy, giddy. Yeah, okay. I keep wanting to say that, excuse me. Uh, comments getting on the board, 61 7. 323 left here in the fourth. Again, running clock, and so last possession here as a. Uh, Talk a little bit, I'll tell you what, is this last possession is kind of going on here. We're going to talk a little bit about the future here for the Comets. As, uh, well, they got to look forward here left of the season. Still everything in front of them, a lot to play for. Of course, you know, they're going to shake this one off quick. As next Thursday, they're going to turn right around. Going to play a home game against Minko. It's our military appreciation night. Um, I love the shirts. You know, we're looking at GraphX and the football program work to get those shirts. And I'll tell you what, GraphX is cool. We are really blessed to have a, a store like that in town that, Puts our shirts together. As that, I, I saw that yesterday and immediately, immediately was like, I'm buying that. <laughs> like the military appreciation shirts look so cool, and uh, you know I get excited, so excited about that for Thursday. And so we want you guys to come on out, have a good crowd. You know if you can't, it'll be streamed on hintcomments.tv. And you know I tell you what, it's a lot to play for. Minko's a good team. A lot of people will argue, a lot of pundits will argue and say they're the best team so far uh, in our class. So it's a game that's going to be super important for the com the comments to come out and play well. Again, still have a lot in front of you, so that's going to be Thursday night. Uh, yes, that is over our fall break. it will start at 7 p.m., so uh, come on out and support your comments. And, uh, of course, kind of finish out the season then. They're going to go on the road. So this is what's tough about this schedule. You've got... Crescent tonight, which we knew was going to be a tough game, regardless of the results of the game. You've got Minko on Thursday, which could be an equally uh, strenuous, difficult game. And then you turn around and you're going to play Cashin, who's struggling a little bit this season. And you're going to play with Tonga, a team that historically you have played pretty well against uh, in the past. And the expectations are the Comets can probably, that's a winnable game for the Comets. You know, the, the big thing is, is if you lose 
Thursday, even if you were to lose against the Bulldogs on Thursday, you still have playoffs, a 7-3 and three season. You have so much to play for those last two weeks. So the Comets just really got to keep their head up here and know that this is two tough games. Uh, going into the season, I asked Coach Potter. I said, hey, what's the toughest, two, you know, what's the toughest games you got? Crescent Minko. Didn't, no, no hesitation in answering that. You know who your threats are going to be in the district. You know who's good. Uh, Coach Phillips talked about it all in the first half. Look down the sidelines at how much depth this team has, how much size they have. I mean, this is just a good team. It's a tough place to play, um, and it is what it is. Um, but, again, you got to get through these two games. Get through these gauntlet of these two games. Play competitive Thursday. Try to put yourself in a position to win. And then go in with that mentality that, hey, you still have so much to play for. Um, can't stress that enough. But, you know, that's what we have going on here with football. Of course, we've got the uh, – Carnival tomorrow, so Saturday, 4 to 6, come on out to the Carnival. Um, we've been having a lot of fun. We had an open house Tuesday night. You know, we got our uh, bond committee out there, so as uh, members of our community know, I'm sure aware, we uh, have a bond issue that we're working on that will be coming up for a vote very soon in November. And so, uh, you know, again, if you have any questions on that, talk to members of the community. You know, uh, the main thing that we want to ensure is when you go to vote, uh, is that you're voting uh, and knowledgeable and know all of the correct information and uh, everything there is to know about the bond. So, tell you what, we, uh, we're going to wrap it up just like that. That running clock really uh, takes that last few minutes out quick. So, final here is Crescent 61, Comet 7. We will see you guys Thursday against the Bulldogs on HitComets.tv.